What's going on guys? It's Trey Mathis here from wifeentrepreneur.com. So glad to see you guys landing here on my page today. It's another beautiful day here in Montezuma, Massachusetts. Today I wanted to talk with you guys a little bit about a problem I have with network marketing. I did a video not too long ago about what network marketing is. Share with you guys a little bit about my story in network marketing. I'm having a little challenge. I want to share it with you guys so that you don't have that challenge as well. So let's go ahead and get started. This is the Wi-Fi Journal. Hey guys, if this is your first time checking us out. This is on Facebook, Instagram, or YouTube. Make sure you subscribe to our pages. We're here to help you turn your passion into profit share with you how to create an online business and also share with you guys some of the things that I've done good or bad to help you decide what you should do moving forward. In the opener I share with you guys how I want to talk a little bit about a problem I have with network marketing. I know a lot of people when they hear that they automatically assume that I'm going to talk about maybe something with the products I want you to know that I honestly feel that network marketing have, has some wonderful products depending on what company you're associated with. Oftentimes, these companies have identified a niche inside of their own specific industry, whether or not it's travel, health, or fitness, etc. And they found or developed some of the best products out there. Usually, you don't know about these products because of the fact that you can't know about everything. Most of the products that you probably know about, you were told about from your parents or friends and family and bought into uh, whatever it is that was associated with that story. For an example, if for years your family has always drank Tropicana orange juice, every time you got sick, <clears throat> you then associated it uh, Tropicana orange juice as the go-to for whenever an individual got sick and that was taught to you. Well, it's a, kind of the same thing with network marketing. If you haven't been exposed to the product before, for whatever the reason may be, then that's the only reason you don't know about it. That's the only reason you don't know the benefits of it. And that's okay. So, the products are usually superior in most cases than the big name chains that you're familiar with. So products is not really an issue, I don't think. Especially if you are taking the products that you're marketing and you believe in the products that you're marketing. Another thing people often think is an issue in network marketing is recruiting. Finding individuals who will join your team, be a part of your organization, and, sh and help you share the message about your company. That too can be a challenge in the beginning, but a lot of those challenges are overcome if you have familiarity with the first part, with the product, with everything that the product can do, the benefits. You know, you didn't need major convincing to start drinking that Tropicana orange juice. Once someone who you know, liked and trust recommended it to you. So that's the exact same thing with finding new people to join your network marketing business as well. If you are around people who know you, like you, and trust you, and you're sharing with them the benefits of products that you're using and the benefits, I believe that you can be, success be successful recruiting individuals into your network marketing business as well. You have to be patient. A lot of people buy into these get rich overnight ideas, if you will. I didn't want to call them schemes. Ideas because of the fact that somebody else may have experienced fast success and that's possible, but that person may have a greater network of people who know, like, and trust them, or they have a network, I have a small network and they have a large network of people who know, like, and trust them. And that's one of the benefits of network marketing. You, your effort alone doesn't have to be what helps grow your business. It's your initial effort and your sustainability effort. However, you are not needed to grow the entire organization. So that's another great benefit of network marketing. So it's not the products and it's not the recruiting. Well, my issue with network marketing is, is their control over you. 
I've been in network marketing, like I shared with you guys, from a very young age. My mom was in Mary Kay and Avon at a very early age. And one of the challenges I saw being in network marketing so early in my life, at the age of you know, 15, well, I'm supposed to say 18, because that's the legal age. At the age of 18 until now, you know, I've had my opportunity to be a part of a number of network marketing companies. Some that I really love the products and because of such, I was really passionate about sharing their message and reach, reaching success. And that was fantastic, but while I'm out there going about living this entrepreneurial dream through network marketing and believing that, you know, this hard work effort that I'm putting in is making a name for myself and it's gonna protect my family and I for years to come because that's the story that they tell you. I failed to realize that I was still an employee. I wasn't truly an entrepreneur. I mean, I had freedom in setting my own hours, setting you know how much I wanted to make by my effort. However, I was an employee of, their com of that company, an independent contractor, if you will. And as an independent contractor, if I didn't follow their rules, then they can kick me out. I have been kicked out at least two companies now, and the reasons may surprise you. I don't feel like I've ever done anything malicious to any of the companies. My mom has been kicked out of two uh, network marketing companies. I don't think that she ever did anything malicious. However, in the company's eyes, what we did and how we did it is what determined our fate of that company. Uh, I know in one company, it's making upwards to $20,000 a month in that company. And overnight, someone in the company, someone I had previously had a, a business relationship with, shared with the company that I was starting to create websites to help market other products from other companies as well. Not network marketing companies, but affiliate programs. So I had built a wonderful network inside of my network marketing company, had success, had a following, etc. I then started to branch my talents off to creating websites that could generate additional cash flow because I know just like you, I, I mean just like just like you, just like you, I know that you want additional cash flow. You want multiple streams of revenue. You don't want to just lock into one, right? We're talking about leverage. We're talking about diversification. And you want to be prepared, prepared, protected. You know, what if that company were to burn down? I want to be protected still. You know, I'm still working hard. I still want to succeed in what I'm doing, right? So I may have to be like, yo, I got to go do something else. So with that being said, I thought to myself, I better start, you know, using my steps to learn a little bit more about affiliate marketing. And that's what I did. Nonetheless, someone contacted the company about it and told them that I was doing affiliate marketing and they shut me down. Overnight, shut me down. So that was pretty surprising to overnight lose $20,000. Now, $20,000 a month. Now, I'm not gonna lie and say that didn't take me out. It did take me out for quite a while. I had to regroup, determine what uh, the lessons from that was. Um, and then once I learned the lessons, realized that I need to get back to work. And that's why I'm here now. And with that, I started to do affiliate marketing full time uh, as far as where my energy and effort went. I realized that if I were to create a brand for myself that allowed me to market multiple products through affiliate marketing, no one company could ever take me down again. I would then share, you know, multiple affiliate marketing programs and products. Therefore, that if, if I ever had an issue with one, it would be okay because my website would be generating traffic and I would just find a new offer to plug those individuals to. I know I've heard reports 
about Amazon shutting people down. The FBA, if you guys are familiar with that, we'll probably do a conversation about that, but a lot of people are looking to start drop shipping with Amazon. And they may be surprised that you can have a multiple six-figure income being generated through Amazon. And if, for whatever reason, they don't like the practice in which you're following, they'll shut you down. Now, one of the things that I realized about affiliate marketing that I, excuse me, uh, network marketing that I took over with me to affiliate marketing is that oftentimes in these network marketing companies, there are just branded affiliate marketing companies, meaning they have an assortment of products. Let's say we're dealing in healthcare. They may have products for your home. They may have products for like brushing your teeth, or headaches, or any other things, you know? And they don't manufacture those products themselves. They actually outsource or find places that can manufacture those products. They then ship those products to their warehouse put their name uh, on it, their brand behind it, and then encourage people to go out there and market. That realization helped me understand that they're nothing more than an affiliate marketing company just like myself. Now, I understood when that company kicked me out because they said that I started to do affiliate marketing on the side. That company had strict rules about not making any money outside of them you they they're the only ones that's gonna feed your family <laughs> you know that's foolish <laughs> but nonetheless i moved on um i actually you started using the same technique that i'm sharing with you guys now by creating an online brand and business i use that to start a new uh, website i have more websites than just wife entrepreneur of course and in those websites, I've marketed some of the healthcare products, and so on and so forth. I want to share with you guys that last night, this is a long video. I want to share with you guys, last night, man, I got contacted by uh, the corporate office of one of the companies that I'm associated with. They said they found me on the internet and they have strict rules about their products being represented on a website that's not controlled and operated by their company. So they gave me an option. They contacted me and told me that either one, I take the website down completely, or two, I guess it's one and two, and two, I transfer the information that they found on my website to their now controlled website if I choose to want to continue to market with them. I just think that's rude. I told them, I'll stop marketing your products, period. Because that's all that matters. What matters to me is the brand. Making sure that my brand is, is meeting the needs of my target audience. So the conversations I share in my blogs, uh, the stories and conversations I share in my videos, they're all meant to help individuals. Now, in that I have ran across information or products or services that I feel that can assist individuals in, meet, in reaching their goals. If they're watching the video or reading the blog and they say, you know what, I have this issue, I can understand what they're talking, he's talking about, where can I fix, can I, where can I solve my problem? Then I want them to click the link in the description box and go to it. However, you know, if that company doesn't want me to market their products, no problem. I'll market other people's products then. I'll just plug someone else's toothpaste into the website that I believe in offers benefits to my readers. You know, I'll plug in some other all natural um, cleanser, if you will, uh, to my website if it's gonna help someone because this company doesn't want me to do it that way. See, and I think that's kind of crazy, you know? I feel that if you can find me on the internet, then I'm doing something right. And if I'm doing something right, I'm sharing your message with more people, which is what you give me a commission to do. And if you want to kick me out because of the fact that I'm not going door to door, knocking on doors, doing it the old school way, 
Do you want to kick me out because I'm not doing because because I decided to do attraction marketing where I can sit in the comfort of my, of my home, share your message, reach thousands day in and day out. Then I just won't market your product. I'm gonna stay true to my brand and I'm gonna to continue to move forward because the hundreds, thousands of people who visit the website daily, you know, now are into the future. And I only have a few hundred reaching the website daily on the on the website that I'm discussing with you guys right now. However, my, I know in time, with the consistent work, that number is gonna grow substantially. It's gonna be up to thousands of individuals hitting the website daily. And those people are gonna wanna, ha wanna solve their problem and I'm gonna be there. I'm not gonna shut my site down. I'm not gonna let go of my personal effort because you want to mute me. So that's my problem with network marketing. They're always trying to mute somebody. They always try to shut you down. Not always trying to shut you down, but the fact that they can shut you down. That's the number one thing. Just the fact that they can shut you down is a reason why you should be prepared. Just like with your nine to five job, if they can fire you, then you need to be prepared. If they can kick you out of a network marketing company, then you need to be thinking, am I at risk? Am I, is this where I want to be? Do I want to be at a place where my fate is in the hands of someone else? I don't want to be that person. I encourage you guys not to as well. I encourage you to check out affiliate marketing. Create your own brand. Find the products that represent your brand to the best of, the, of their ability. And then share those products with the masses. I hope this information is helpful to some people. I uh, hope my story... Uh, I, I hope my story helps someone. It's my story. You know, I don't expect it, it to necessarily change your life. It changed my life. It gave me a whole new perspective on what I was doing and how I was doing it. Hopefully you guys have found value in me being kicked out of one company and now coming here to be with you. That's how things work out sometimes. Sometimes a negative can actually turn out to a positive. In those days in which I was really, really sad because I had just lost a substantial amount of income overnight. I never knew that I'd be sitting here and Martha's Vineyard, sitting here out, out looking out the window, talking with you guys on YouTube, never. And I just know this is just the beginning, so much more to come. And I look forward to sharing that story, continue to share the story with you guys into the future. So if you're not already subscribed to our channels, again, make sure you subscribe to our social platforms. Make sure you click the bell if you're on YouTube so that you get notified of all of our daily conversations so i'm gonna leave it there we have a community of over 1 million online entrepreneurs who want to help you succeed the information to join the community is down below we have tons of information down below i'm sure check it out see what you need until we talk again take care and be blessed